Hi, this is Brittany with Tech Tips, and I'm here to talk to you about how to create a custom focus mode for an evening wind down routine on iPhone. The spot on your iPhone that a long time ago used to say do not disturb now says focus modes. You use a focus mode to create a mood or a situation or just a setting where only the people and apps that you want for that particular situation are able to notify you. This could be work notifications while you're working or only personal notifications while you're on personal time. Let's create a custom focus mode from scratch. Picture yourself in this focus mode. What are the things that you really want to have access to and what do you not wanna have getting in your way? I'm gonna do one for my wind down routine. That is, I wanna settle in, relax in the evening before I start getting ready for bed. By visualizing what do I wanna do when I'm winding down, that can help me decide what do I want to have access to? What do I not wanna have access to? For example, what might send me on some rabbit hole on my phone for way too long? All right, let's set it up. If you swipe down, on the top right of your phone, you'll get to your control center. You see it says filming on. That's because I'm recording right now. And that's the focus mode I have for recording because it's really annoying when some call goes through and all my video cameras turn off or only some of them turn off. So if we tap and hold on it, we're gonna see all of my focus modes. We're gonna create a new focus mode from scratch. And see, it's got a bunch of sort of pre-programmed ones you could use. I'm gonna create a custom one. I think purple is a pretty good color for winding down. I'm gonna call it wind down and then pick an icon. Go with a little sunset. Here's where it's giving me the option to customize my focus mode. The different options are things like silencing notifications, sharing with your friends if you have notifications silenced or not, turn on a custom lock screen or home screen page, and you can schedule it to turn on automatically or off automatically. Okay, who do I wanna have notify me when I'm in my wind down mode? People. So you have two options here. You can silence notifications from particular people or allow notifications from particular people. So say I could allow them only from the people that I play Pokemon with in case the notifications are something like, hey, do you wanna do a Pokemon raid? Well, I want those even if maybe I don't want ones from as much as I love Colleen. She's my business partner. It could be something about business that's less appropriate for when I'm trying to relax before bed. In this case, I'm going to allow from particular people. Turn off for Colleen. The other ones are probably good, or I can add more people. Ryan. And then you can allow calls from particular people. It could be everyone, certain allowed people, like say the people that I just tagged in, or from favorites, or even a contact group, which is awesome, because you know what happens is normally iPhones don't acknowledge groups, because they're jerks. So I'm going to say allow calls from favorites. Then I can pick what apps I want to have notify me. I definitely don't need Instagram. I don't know why Safeway. Nope. I think it's usually a good idea to get reminders no matter what. All right, and options. Are the silence notifications allowed to show on the lock screen? And do we want to dim the lock screen? And do you want to hide notification badges? I definitely do. So show on the lock screen notifications that have been silenced. No, I don't need to do that. They're not showing up for a reason. Dim the lock screen. Personally, I don't wanna dim the lock screen for this particular wind down focus mode because I'm going to link it with a lock screen with particular pictures to help set the mood to relax and get ready for bed so I don't stay up too late. I wouldn't be able to see those very well if I had the lock screen dimmed. I think it's a great idea for things like bedtime or sometimes at work. It just depends. Do you wanna be able to see your lock screen very well or not? and then customize lock screens. You can actually pick your lock screen right from here. I've already made the lock screen I wanna use for my bedtime, so I'm gonna tap on it right here. Now where it says home screen choose, that's gonna let me pick what pages of apps I wanna be able to see at that particular time. And I've already made a wind down page and it's right there. So that's the page of apps I wanna be able to see when I'm in wind down mode. Smart activation, do you wanna have it turn automatically, like learn from your schedule and stuff like that? What it means is you have to remember to turn it on a whole bunch at the right time. I do not trust the smarts of my phone at this particular juncture, so I'm probably gonna leave that off. But I am gonna add a schedule. Currently what Apple calls wind down is actually controlled in the health app, of all places, 
because it has to do with sleep. But what it does is turn on my sleep focus mode. That's not what I want. I'm not going to sleep yet. I'm winding down. But because I'm making a custom one, I'm also going to make a custom schedule. So the time it's going to go into effect is 7, 15 p.m. If I wanted to turn on a different time, different days of the week, I add another schedule and I pick those particular days of the week. But I have other options. I can have it turn on when I arrive at work. Well, not for wind down. Or turn on when I open a particular app. So some people have a reading focus mode that turns on when they open up, say, the Kindle app. The last thing is focus filters. What this lets you do is turn on particular aspects of an app. Focus filters let you filter out what you see inside an app during a focus mode. It filters the app itself. That means if I'm in wind down mode, I can set my email client to hide my work email accounts for me in the mail app. Or you could hide specific Safari tab groups based on your focus mode. Since I've already picked people who can notify me, I can also filter my message views mostly to show me messages from the people I've already selected. I can add another filter. You could have calendar. You could also have it set to a particular Safari tab group. You know, I only want to look at a trip planning tab group or whatever. So you could choose that it only has access or opens by default to a particular tab group. However, I don't have a lot of those that I use on my phone and I don't think that makes sense. So I'm not going to do that one. And you can have it set your appearance to automatically be dark. So that way I could say only dark mode when I am in my wind down focus mode. That makes sense. It's sort of setting that evening tone. So I'm going to add that one. And another filter is low power mode. You could say when I am in this focus, always be in low power mode. So if I had a playing Pokemon focus mode, then I would always have the low power mode on. I kind of want a Pokemon focus mode now. So those are all my filters. There we go. That is my wind down focus mode. Some of the choices you might make are what type of app is gonna be distracting in that particular situation. That's what I did. I thought, what is this time about? There you go. That's making a custom focus mode from scratch on iPhone. You know what's not helpful about that EG that says Emily? I know two Emily Gs.